problem number one. Sometimes there are days when you just shit and piss and eat and breathe. And then to follow that, a haiku. Wait slowly inside the difficult dissonance, its resolution. Now, this one is for all of the, uh, all the unpublished writers that uh, keep sending stuff out to everything year after year, decade after decade. It's called Unpublished Writer's Mantra. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. And if it's not them, it'll be someone else. It's just a matter of time. 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 Now, oh, watch it. Okay. This is um, this is from a. Uh, story in the newspaper. Elephant runs amok at circus, shot dead. They say you went berserk when you gave the woman and kids a wild elephant ride, trampling the barricades, the ropes and saw horses they expected would contain your will. When you picked up the policeman with your trunk, a 10-year veteran of the force who'd survived car wrecks and shootings stabbings in plane crashes and spiked him to the ground like a football player in the end zone when you stomped your victory dance on his back with your enormous round tree stump feet had you had enough your 27 years spent beneath the big top and not an indian sky did you know there were no tranquilizers to subdue you when you decided to reclaim your will when the 25th round entered your cement gray flesh? Did you land in the cooling tigris as you went down, feel the dust of three decades wash away as the hot sky of home burned overhead? And uh, this is the last one for today. Um, maybe you know some people like this. They're, they're, there's people out there in the world that I mentioned those flying buttresses that hold up Chartres, you know, there's like 20 of them, and, and there's people like that, they have all these flying buttresses. So this is called Therapy and the New Age. I'm not okay, you're not okay, what's your dysfunction? My inner child is an incest victim by myself from a previous incarnation, I'm healing. I gotta work in my inner child. Maybe I can take it to an inner child care center. Do they have Montessori for this? I can drop it off before work and it can meet lots of other inner children. And then I'll pick it up on my way home and each day I'll be able to deal with it better. I got lots of stuff. How about you? I got lots of stuff too. Is it getting stuffy in here? What's your dysfunction? I'm working on my inner fetus. It seems it suffered from severe womb retentiveness and now I'm dealing with womb envy compounded by having to come to terms with the sexual abuse I underwent when the doctor who delivered me spanked my naked bottom. It was 48 years ago. It seems I've been repressing it ever since, but now I'm giving myself permission to feel these feelings and that that's okay. I got lots of stuff. Me too. What's your dysfunction? I used to be addicted to love, sex, money, relationships, coffee, tea, cigarettes, alcohol, food, drugs, possessions, and whatever show came on NBC at 10 o'clock on Thursday nights. But now I'm not sure if I'm addicted or just addicted to the idea of being addicted. So I'm going to a past life therapist. Got my inner child on a strict macrobiotic diet. I sleep with crystals sewn into my blankets. And I think I'll fly out to Mount Shasta to find out if I'm actually one of the ascended masters. That would explain a lot. I got lots of stuff. 